Hi guys, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect Plant-Based Weight Loss. And I talked about on Wednesday that I'd like to share how I'm approaching the holidays this year. And, and I have kind of a specific way that I want to approach each month for October, November, and December. And you might be thinking, it's only October, the holidays aren't really till the, you know, the end of November, but for me, the difficulty I experience um, with eating correctly around this time of year actually does start in October. It really starts as soon as people start to put, you know, um, sugary treats in stores and the costumes and the air gets cooler and my mind starts to go to, uh, you know, what I used to eat that got me in so much trouble. And one thing that I know is that I don't want to eat those things anymore at all. And it, for me, it's better to have none than a little bit because a little bit was never enough. You know, one bite only leads to a million more bites. And I'm never satisfied. I'm never, I'm never have a point at which I say, that was great, but I'm done. And I know that there are a lot of people who um, can do that, but I've never been one of them. From the earliest memories, I have never been one of them, especially where sugar is concerned. I just, uh, I have to completely leave it alone, and I'm, I'm at peace with that decision. And so, that's definitely the scariest thing about Halloween for me, is all that sugar. And I know sugar is terrible for you. I know it wreaks havoc on your body. You just have to remember that it's crystalline structure. It's like little sharp edged rocks going through your bloodstream and it damages all of your tiniest blood vessels like the ones in your kidneys and your eyes. And it does all kinds of, you know, it makes you make too much insulin that then blocks the leptin which is the chemical that your brain makes that tells you that you've that you're full so if you have sugar with a meal you won't be satisfied by your meal you'll feel like you want to keep eating and eating um, just it, it wreaks havoc it's not good for you it's not good for anyone um, even just if you want to have beautiful skin you want to avoid sugar because it ages your skin you know and the best thing you can do for your skin is to have lots of fruits and veggies and get all those minerals and then you'll have a young um, glowing complexion and if you want to have bad skin eat oily things and eat sugar because that will wreck your skin faster than anything else so I think that sugar is the scariest thing about Halloween. And so what I want to do is reinterpret the holidays to celebrate positive aspects that they bring to mind. For instance, when I think of Halloween, of course I think uh, scary, but um, I want to turn that around to facing fears overcoming fears, facing demons, not letting things hold you back, um, being confident in the face of things that scare you. And, and um, so that's one thing I wanna do is, is talk about being fearless and facing your fears. The other thing I wanna focus on is finding other sources of sweetness in my life. You know, I know for me that sugar has been a substitute, um, eating in general has been a substitute for love, um, especially like maybe romantic love. Um, when I don't feel like I have someone to take care of me or love me or shower me with affection or, you know, give, give you a dopamine hit that you get when you're in love, you know. Um, an easy way to get that is from a hit of, you know, your favorite substance that also causes that huge dopamine reaction, whether that be 
it's different for everybody. For me, it's sugar. For some people, it's a good loaf of bread. For some people, it's a nice bag of chips, um, a jar of peanut butter, <laughs> whatever gets your dopamine going. Um, but it's not, you know, what a phony, flimsy substitute for the real thing. And sadly, you know, especially the heavier I was, the less people were interested, guys were interested. And so it was just a vicious cycle. You know, I kept settling for something else, looking for sweetness in my life when really I should have been finding genuine and kind ways to, to give myself, you know, that um, genuine self-love. So that's my other focus is finding sweetness in my life, finding ways to take care of myself um, that remind me that life is sweet and that I am worthy of love and uh, of self-compassion. So the, facing fears, finding sweetness. And then one thing I always loved about Halloween since I was a little kid was the creativity. You know, the costumes, we'd make our own costumes or my mom would make us costumes, um, dreaming up, what do you wanna be? What do you wanna do? And, um, you know, celebrating how beautiful the earth is. So here in the Northwest, I know in a lot of places, it's autumn and the trees are gorgeous. They've got their fall colors and the pumpkins are so bright and orange and cheery and the air is crisp and cool and it's such a nice change from the blazing hot summer, which is not my favorite. <laughs> and um, it's, it's just, it's magical. It really is magical. It's a beautiful time of year and it's a time of really heightened creativity. Um, and so that's another thing that I want to celebrate. So those are my three focuses, foci? foci for October. That would be facing fears, finding sweetness in life in other ways than in the candy jar, and celebrating creativity and beauty around me. Um, and you know, really taking in God's handiwork and saying, Dad, you do really great work. <laughs> you know, really noticing it and enjoying it and celebrating it and getting out in it. Pretty soon, it's gonna rain and rain and rain and rain here and it's gonna get cold, it's gonna get dark. And so, I just wanna enjoy every moment of the fall and keep focusing on all the things I do get to have. You know, harvest time is such a great time to focus on what I do eat, which is the fruits and the veggies that are ripe right now, you know, the apples and the pears and all the fall crops, um, all the squash and kabocha and pumpkins and butternut and every other kind of squash you can think of. Um, harvest time is a great time to just get your fruits and veggies. They're at their peak of ripeness. They're awesome. They're delicious. And just, you know, say thank you for the abundance that we are so lucky to have. Not everybody has that in the world, right? Like, we're crazy lucky. We just take it for granted that I get fresh fruits and vegetables all year round. I get whole grains. I get delicious legumes and beans and all the soups and stews and um, all the great things that we get this time of year. Chili. Um, just makes me want to have a nice bowl of split pea and potato soup and you know uh, sit by a cozy fire and watch the leaves change so I think that it's a great time of year for us to focus on lots of other things besides just shoving candy in our mouths you know I always thought fun size bars. What is so fun about that? What is so fun about less candy? <laughs> but now I'm going to find my fun and my creativity and my sweetness outside of the candy bowl. You know, that plastic pumpkin head that you kept the candy in. Did you have one of those? I'm finding my sweetness outside of that. I love you guys. You're a big part of the sweetness in my life and I hope that you are having a wonderful day 
you're having a wonderful Friday and that you're gonna have a great weekend. Remember to live your life on purpose. Even though it's the weekend, still have a plan, still be prepared. Don't just let things go um, how they're gonna go because a lot of times you'll end up making a choice you didn't wanna make. All right, guys, love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.